What's up guys, Nax Tech here and this is going to be my top 5 iOS apps of the week. If you're a subscriber to my channel you'll know that I've been doing this for Android but I've got an iPod Touch now and I thought might as well open it up to iOS. So yeah. Starting off with How Do. By the way all these apps are free this week. How Do is a cool app. Basically it's a video kind of helper that people put on there and you can put on there to um, assist people in doing random things. For example, this guy here, how to eat a cucumber. So you go ahead and you hit it. Press play and if you listen. How to eat a cucumber. The first step is to get a cucumber. This one's from Sainsbury's but yours could be from anywhere. <laughs> now he's got quite a funny voice and all that and this is just kind of a piss take. But you get how it works and then once that's done you swipe away. <laughs> and then yeah, keep going. Slice off a section of cucumber. It can be any size, but I like to make my sections bite size, which will help with the next stage. Now eat your cucumber. Don't talk while you're eating now, because that is rude. Thank you. <laughs> so you can see, I mean that one was quite a joke, but some of them I'm sure would actually be useful in helping you on how to do some stuff. Um, you can follow people, discover. You can add friends and all that. What is this bit here? Yeah, you have to sign in with your own profile. You can do it with Facebook and all that stuff. I and mean, obviously you can do one yourself, but I'm not going to. Yes, quit. If we go ahead and go back on some of these other ones. Your ingredients. Garlic, so this one helps you cook. So you can see you can have a, like this one's out of 15, but it's really useful, you know, in steps. Really, really cool app, really well made. Check it out. Next up, we've got Beamer. Um, if you've ever kind of, you know, used the Facebook app on here and tried to upload pictures, basically it kind of shrinks down your pictures and you don't get the full resolution of your pictures. This basically helps you out here. These are some of the pictures I've got. I recently went to Amsterdam. So if I go ahead and click these three, hit cover, um, you can swipe here and you can see it changes, it makes a nice, let me get a different picture so you can actually see. Um, and you can swipe and change the cover, which is kind of cool, right? Um, and then you can share it, and you can share it to email, Facebook or Twitter. So say if you do Twitter, basically what it does is it just posts something saying, check out my Beamer app photo magazine and it will give you a link. I'm not going to bother doing it, but you'll see it will give you a link um to the actual bit so it doesn't actually post to your facebook albums i don't think it'll just post as um to to a link if you know what i mean so on their actual site for example if you click the email i think it will yeah like that you uh, that's what it'll do and you'll click that and you'll have your full, full resolution pictures that you wanted in a nice little album so really nice as well check it out if you like it next up we got thread life Threadlife is an app that you can stitch together loads of kind of videos of random things in your life and put it up there and you know there's some funny ones and you know I don't know why you'd really want to follow people's lives but let's check out some other people's I mean here's a hello world one which is stitched 65 stitches and it's probably just got loads of different people here so if we go ahead and uh So, pretty cool, right? I mean, 30 second clips. The idea is, I think, is really, really cool. Um, you can go out and check what other people have done here. Um, obviously, you can make your own. I did a quick one, not really a quick one, but just kind of one image capture. What can you do? Play from here. I just did a bit of my room. Um, but yeah, you can stitch together loads of stuff and post it and check out what everyone else has done. It could be kind of cool, right? 
Um, if we go in here, here's all your options. You can edit stuff, copy to another thread, delete all the camera, your title of it. So yeah, kind of cool, different. Um, you can see the threads, my threads following, and me again. You have to sign in or make an account with this. I think I can. I think I signed in with my Facebook. Um, and you also have to give it a little uh, clip to start off with, which is kind of cool. So yeah, if you like it, check it out. Up next, we got Google Search. Now I actually did a full review of this, but it's so good, I thought I'd put it in my top five apps of the week, considering this is my first top five apps of the week video. So I'll just quickly run through this. Obviously, you get the voice activation, which is the main thing here. So you know, and Google's really quick at doing it. So you can ask it pretty much anything, like. How heavy is the earth? You can see it real time transcribed it and there's a quick answer straight away in your face. So, you know, really nice. There's loads, loads of different things you can say. Cast of the Big Bang Theory. So he called the Big Bang Theory, but probably my English accent. Cast of the Big Bang Theory. Okay, there we go, figured it out. And there's the answer, really quick, really, really good. So, yeah, it's kind of a Siri alternative, but it's not conversational, so keep that in mind. Uh, it's just factual-based, so, yeah, check it out. If you want to see a full review, check out my full review video. Um, it's much longer and much better. So, enjoy. Last up in my top five, I thought I'd put YouTube in. Now, we know iOS 6 took out the native YouTube app, so Google went ahead and made their own, which is actually better, because... You know, Apple weren't updating the the uh, app, so this app is much better. Saying that, it is not optimized yet for the 4-inch display, but it's much better than the original iOS Apple kind of contributed app. This is much better. This is Google made who own it. Um, obviously, you get all your YouTube features. Nice, really smooth. Um, I can't wait until it's kind of, you know, optimized because I hate these black bars. They're so annoying. Anyway, you can tap this button here to get to your account, settings, your subscriptions, your feeds. Um, you can go ahead and click one. You've got your now playing suggested comments. Full screen obviously available. Down here you've got the uh, description suggested and the comments here. You can add a comment. So really nice, really well made app and it's much better than the one that Apple originally had. So. Just waiting for Google to update it to the 4-inch display, but otherwise, it's great. So, yeah, check it out. Anyway, guys, this has been my top 5 apps of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. It's the first time I've done a video on my top 5, top five apps on uh, iOS. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys later.